Okay, we have... Welcome to Grandpa's Minecraft. We are working on a greenhouse inspired from a skyscraper one IBX Toy Cat was building. Uh, my plans were to have this step down four times and what I should have done is after two times went to the left, step down, and came back, stepped down, and it would have made a continuous spiral going up. But I didn't do that, so you can travel up the water streams when you get to that point. You'll see that later in the video. The dirt floors are nine by nine with a water hole in the middle. Water will be put in at the top level and travel down through the holes. This design here, is going to have a, has two window panes and then in between all this section will be four four blocks of uh, polished granite polished diorite uh, alternate alternating uh, every other section so on the outside it'll kind of a checkerboard look in a way I was going to do glowstone, but that's a lot of glowstone. <laughs> and I was going to do window glass, which I still could do. I was going to tint it whatever colors. Probably green, like a greenhouse. This is my uh, underground church. <laughs> Get back here to the workshop. built this uh, in a little less than two days. Um, actually it'd be less than a day if you put the two halves together. I had to take a break from it and do some mining to get some more supplies. This is where you get down here and you have to think about what do I need? <laughs> sure. Changed my mind on the glowstone. I should have just brought all the coal and just made a whole bunch of torches. So I did find a bug in this new Minecraft update 1.13.0. I had stone block, not brick, stone block, or stone, in my inventory. And the crafting menu gave me the option to make polished granite and polished diorite. So I clicked on them just to see what happened. I don't think I do it here, but and they worked. There it goes. Yes, so it worked on all three of them. Andersite too. And we're back out to the 
a house here, greenhouse. As you can see as we turn around, I got desert to one side, I have plains one side, I have a village the front and back ends. So I kind of built it out here so it's closer to the other village. Plus this isn't a place for the villagers, it's so I can garden without them. It's nice to be able to trade with them, but they get in the way when you're trying to, when you're pulling up crops, some of the nitwits will get in there and they will steal your item you just harvested. So when I started this pattern, my intention was an X, kind of an X style, but uh, that water is going to come up to the roof when it's done. And you could expand upward if you wanted on this. the bottom of each of these water columns is a uh, coral and some sea pickles. And interestingly the sea pickles didn't affect the end of the water flow. I thought maybe once I put four in there that the water flow might flow outward, but luckily it didn't. And one of them I put in too low, so I had to change that. So I grabbed my Silk Touch pickaxe and took the coral out and moved it up a layer. And we put we ran out of blocks, so we put some dirt in here temporarily, so I can get the stairs in. I like to try to use as many of the materials I have on hand before I go back and forth. <laughs> that way I can carry more out next time. So there's the village. And the village wall made out of trees planted every third block. And then once they grow you put cobble between them if there's any gaps. I used to just plant a straight row of trees and I thought this looked much nicer because I always seem to have cobble and sometimes I just use dirt because if you're not near it and a creeper comes up he doesn't explode so you're not going to lose it either way. I haven't had any pillager raids anywhere I've had a town so far. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. So this top layer is the wheat, the wheat layer. Thought about making, uh, figuring out a way to do watermelon. Maybe, maybe it'll have its own building with columns of water. That might work. Right now I have a nice setup for watermelon. I dig a trench for the water and I drop stairs in there back and forth. They don't usually get me like that, the zombies. I don't know, maybe it was the short space. So this opening up here will be filled with uh, granite and polished granite and polished diorite. And then back to the day where we finish this up. This 
gives you an outer view of how we filled in those openings. And we started planting a new outer wall around this. As you notice the little trees out. I filled in the openings because I got thinking about the spiders because they can still get up there. I kind of liked them open. Thought about putting a second one of these on the next to it. Only the floors would go the opposite direction. So the steps would step down the opposite direction. There's your coral and your sea pickles. Of course, that only lights up the lower floor, as far as I know. I haven't been out here at night. I take that back. I, I have been, but it was before those were in. And we got a little bit of wheat planted, what seed I had. I've been using the seed in the composters to make bone meal. Using the bone meal to grow more sea pickles. I've been buying coral from the uh, trader, the traveling trader. And it was, I bought my first sea pickles from them too, but I've been growing more, so I've been lighting up the waterways around my uh, village with the uh, coral and sea pickles. Seems to create less drowns.